Coffee ready. Minis ready. Weather behind the window, it's just unbelievably bad. Rain, rain, rain and rain. I'm telling you guys. Okay, so let's start recording. So that's, that's how I'm doing. I get my camera here, light table. Which I have to clean later because it's in my living room. And yeah. Let me just quickly check the setup here. Okay, I think we are ready. Cool. All right. I'll be right back. recently these guys and they're just doing the bases and today I will be starting with libers so I think that will be challenge for me <laughs> oh maybe not even challenge we'll see and my notes which colors were Normally when I'm painting, I'm uh, listening to some music. And... There we go. So, I recently finished these guys. Bar barb gowns. Uh, now I will be getting started with leapers. I really don't know if that's recording properly or we can see or no. I'm quite bad with that, I think. Okay, so let's start. Um, we will start with what? I think. I think we will be starting with. Uh, you guys not seeing me properly here, I think. Uh, let me move the camera outside a little bit. Maybe I should change as well. YouTube is watching. <laughs> um, yeah. So 
and brush his hair. Water. Anyway, yeah, so normally I'm listening to lots of music during my painting sessions, but because it's YouTube, I can't listen to my music like Metallica or any other like that. That's why I will stick just with my talking to you and I will put the music later on. Anyway. Mm -hmm. What we'll start doing now is I did base coat them with black and then zenithal white um, I'll be mixing the layer paints, base baits with uh, contrast one trying to achieve some different achieve some different uh, things. Anyway, um, I'm still experimenting with my color scheme for my Tyranids. I'm keeping them very close together. But originally I wanted to go with a high, high fleet Typhon. No, Typhon high fleet. Originally I want Originally, I want to go with the Typhoon fleet, but unfortunately, didn't manage to do it. That was the, the colors, color scheme was like a little bit strange. Anyway, I'm going towards this kind of color scheme, but I'm changing many, many things. Anyway, so let's start base coating maybe with legs Why not? legs arms this is actually very nice models lots of pointy sharp points lots of uh, sharp ends so let's get to it
Why are you guys painting the minis? Did you start it? No? Let me know in the comments. I did start painting minis, uh, I think for relaxations, like I told you stories from my workplace. Um, I forgot the water. <laughs> I'll be right back. Anyway, so like I told you my stories from my previous part of life, which was basically working for the hospitality, um, didn't end up for me very well. Um, so. To actually stay alive for my family and uh, you know how it is stay with them I did resign from my job I was recovering for some time I did my course for cybersecurity at the moment trying to find some work however no the problem is they don't want to get someone without experience for just part-time because you will not learn any, everything like you're supposed to blah 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 the regular excuses what they expecting they expecting someone fully trained looking the job basically for free and then you can uh, you know get experience with them not not really looking forward to something like that I didn't spend this time on uh, doing the course to you know works straight away like slave um yeah anyway I'm, I'm, I'm I really want to go back to work but uh, the agreement was with my wife I'm staying home to look after my kids which are not very small kids however they need to be, you know, school run need to be done, you know, breakfast in the morning, check if she's got everything to school, the younger one, you know. My mornings are very early mornings. These days, it's not much to do when I'm coming back. Waking up usually 5.30. I'm getting my wife to work, coming back home. Normally when the weather was better and the sun was uh, going up, sunrise was early in the morning, then I was going for my walk. 45 minutes. God damn it. I think today is not a good day. <laughs> weather and this and that anyway mm, yes so i was going for my walk 45 minutes coming back home prep the breakfast get the younger one to school make sure the older one will get to the bus on time without any problems 
then uh, shopping, clean the house, you know, uh, I was doing my exercises at home, um, so generally I was trying to get calm as much as possible, because after working so many years in this industry, having so many problems and everything, I think I was getting too stressed for without any problem. I mean, I was getting stressed without like anything. Everything was like. Sometimes it was instant blow up. So yeah. Painting models for me, it's something very new because I started this year a few months ago. Uh, I think it was around May. Like literally before uh, 10th edition. So the mass, my major box is uh, Leviathan box. And uh, yeah trying to finish it before I will start any other projects and yeah so Tyranids like I said it to you guys earlier I was trying to do in a high fleet typhoon scheme but because there was not much information about the color scheme and the colors which they gave online I think wasn't like this which is supposed to be um, so I will start changing I will put the pictures of the one of the first which I did did I was trying to do the schemes and then what I was achieving when I'll start changing, just give me your thoughts. What, what do you think about it? That would be amazing. Get some comments about that. Um, yeah. So let me know as well in comments why are you guys doing Warhammer or are you just uh, doing for the fun of painting, relaxation? Um, maybe you're just painting because you're just playing. Uh, which I didn't play yet, unfortunately. I, I played just the small games from, uh, I mean, small scenarios from the introduction packet. Okay, I didn't play yet properly 10F edition. However, when I finish painting my box, I will definitely start playing. Just with myself. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have anyone with who I can play at the moment, but I will be fun recording myself as a two different people playing against each other. Why not? Um, yeah. What else I can say, you guys? Uh, trying this uh, grow this YouTube channel. From the day when I was uh, starting with uh, miniature painting, originally that was just about painting the minis and stuff like that. Then I was trying to do something different. I don't know. I was uh, start having this idea, you know, grow the YouTube channel and you know have something from it. You know, I think it's two main reasons why I started my YouTube channel. One, it's I was thinking maybe I'll get opportunity to you know uh, do the living from it, and the second one, it's I think because I want to leave something after myself. You know, the truth is we never know how long we'll be live. I told you already about my uh, condition which I had some time ago. That was another one which was before 
few years before this major condition and uh, yeah I think that's you know leave something behind it's actually why mostly I wanted to do the channel because then you can like my kids can go back and check stuff see me show me big my grandchildren or something like that. I don't know maybe it's stupid what Hey Siri, stop playing music. Um, yeah, to show maybe my children, my, my grandchildren, if I will have any. Um, how is the grandfather? Or, you know what I mean? It's it's always something. Um, yeah, I, w I wish to have income from uh, YouTube. That would be amazing. Join this uh, old people, which is uh, you know, working from home. I know it's not easy, and I'm not saying about growing the YouTube, but you know, even working from home, it's lots, lots of stuff. Uh, which we have to do it like you know the way um, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, yeah, I know I know the working from home is not easy as well. You need you got stress. You have to do this and that. Um, you need to spend time on making the videos uh, because if you want to do really good video with amazing editing, some you know fun stuff, some uh, nice uh, uh, media inside, you will not spend 5-10 minutes. Like for example today video, I don't be editing too much because uh, I don't want to make this as a like organ or what, just sit down, paint, having conversation with, you know, tell you some stuff. Um, yeah. Honestly, uh, another thing which I was thinking about when I was uh, building the channel, I was thinking about getting like um, community. You know, sometimes it is it's nice get the community with people, learning together stuff. You know, giving each other support. Um, some sometimes even good word is much better than any any reward you know um i wanted to start doing like reviews as well about equipment for painting and things like that but unfortunately i did find out it's um it's not easy to you know, you, you're not getting the money from YouTube. You're not getting people. Nobody wanna work with you as when you are a small channel or you wanna grow. You know, nobody wants to support you. Even even viewers, you know, viewers are watching, but they actually not engaging. Um, like YouTube has got this stupid thing about, um, you know subscription and everything so if you subscribe to my channel then i'm growing the channel if you like the video then uh, it's this algorithm it starts triggering apparently comments they helping as well because they're triggering the algorithm and they pushing the videos to other people but the problem with the viewers as well it's like you know, even it's not costing them. They don't want to take everyone to subscribe and get notifications from 
anyone and things like that. So they're not always following you. So the, getting the audience these days, it's so difficult. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just simply late for everything. You know, I, I don't know. The music, the music uh, which we'll be playing, it's from Epidemic Sounds. Um, my videos, they're not sponsored by anyone apart of my wife. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. Because it is like it is. Um, I'm trying to... Oops. I'm trying to find some nice music from uh, Epidemic Sounds uh, and create some nice pictures from Warhammer 40k and do it some uh, nice, you know, playlist or something like that for the painting music. So if you got idea, I mean, you got idea, but if you can share what kind of music you guys listen, that would be amazing. Um, I'm listening most of my music, uh, which I follow on my Apple Music. Um, so this is like, you know, most of it is like rock, metal from like 90s, 80s, early 2000s, because like, a, like a, I. I think that was the golden age of our music. <laughs> Don't take me wrong. I'm not saying these people which are listening these days, they're not good. But I'm not saying they're good. Just simply it's not my cup of matcha, if I can say like that. Um I like country music as well. Uh I like alternative music, so I, I like scores from, I mean scores, I, I like original soundtracks from movies and this is, and the songs, and the original scores. Uh, for example, I'm not a big fan of hip hop. However, if there is a really good song made by someone from hip hop, like Venom, for example, yeah? Me, personally, I don't like Eminem. My son, for example, loves Eminem, his career and just his personality. But, for example, the all the soundtrack from Venom, including the song, I just love it. I, just, I can sit and listen all the time. Um, so yeah, doesn't matter if it's song, if it's just score or anything like that, if it's created nicely and it's just like straight away popping in my head the pictures, the scenes from the movies and I can emerge with this. I just love it, you know? Uh, one of the best ever for me, it's... Um, Braveheart music, I just love. Anyway, I love Scotland. I follow in love Scotland. Uh, wait, sorry, I follow in. I love Scotland. You know, I follow in love with Scotland. First time when I was uh, watching the movie Highlander, one of my really favorite movies as well. Special edition here. Um, I love to rewatch. I mean, I love to rewatch my favorite movies like quite often. Uh, my wife, she's not really big fan of the old movies and like really rewatching some movies. She don't mind movies from like 90s. 
not 80s, she don't like 80s, I don't know why. Maybe that's make her feel too old, but don't tell her. Um, yeah. so, anyway, I, I like to rewatch my movies quite often, if it's possible. I think the most watched movie in my life is Surprise, surprise, Braveheart. Uh, Braveheart came out in the days when it was uh, VHS uh, very popular. And I did kill literally, I think, two original copies before I was uh, getting like uh, original copy, then I was just copy, copy. <laughs> so I, I killed around four VHS cassettes. Um, before I was managed to get the Blu-ray, the music, I think, honestly, like, three or four cassettes as well, because I just love the music. It's so good, and it's just, you know, when you close the eyes, the music is so create, you can, you can richly see the scenes from the movie. Um, I love to read some books as well, but I really need to find some book which is really good, if you know what I mean. I don't like reading the book which <laughs> makes me suffer. I didn't uh, read the books when I was younger, I was uh, not really the person who was reading the books. I changed with the moment when I was start play, playing role-playing games. Then I was uh, start becoming like uh, master of the game. So I was creating my own uh, adventures for my colleagues, my friends, which we were spending lots of time playing together, like Dungeons and Dragons and uh, different games as well. Probably some of them you never heard of, so I don't be even mention them. <coughs> so that was a really good times, and that actually make me to read the books. And then I was actually fell in love with the books, reading them. And uh, yeah, but like I said, the, the certain gender which I love is sci-fi. I think this is my favorite gender of books and movies. Um, my favorite book, I think, is Legend by David Gemmel. This author, it's amazing. And I love this book because when I was reading this book, I was listening as well the first album of Apocalyptica with it. And that was so perfect combination. And, uh, oh, when you close the eyes, and he was describing, you know, when he was describing fight, for example, in the snow, you could see the snow, the snow which was covered with blood. And, I don't know, he, he had so good influence on ima imagination when he was writing the books. Oh, I just love it. I've, I think I read most of his books. Um, some of them they wasn't so fun, but most most of them was really good. I really love this whole saga about the Druze, and uh, yeah, that was that was cool actually. Really cool experience. I'm happy because my. Kids, they like to read the books as well. Sometimes it's uh, a shame they don't want to play some games like this, but I think this is the... How is name? Century. <laughs> they prefer to see it on computer, PlayStation, you know, iPad, play the games there. You know, online life, if we can say it like that. 
don't take me wrong because I like PlayStation as well. I like uh, games like Diablo. Diablo 4. Uh, I'm playing recently, but it's, 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 not, it's, it's not the same. Um, I think the best one was Diablo 1. I, f I wish they would make like remake like they did it for the Diablo 2. If they will do Diablo 1 remake, that will be amazing experience. Imagine that. Like full HD Diablo 1. <laughs> Mind blowing. Um sorry. I did play Diablo 3 quite a lot, but wasn't this. I think my favorite one is Diablo 1, then Diablo 2. Diablo 3, I think was one of the first major disappointments. Diablo 2 was okay. I know there's lots of people which they love Diablo 2, but I think, don't take me wrong, it's a really good game. I really like the game. But the problem is, like for me, it lost the spirits of the Diablo already. The, the, when they change the mechanics, you know, and everything, it's but it was really good involved and yeah, it's much better than these games today. The problem is the monetization, the microtransactions. Oh my god, this this is boom, mind blowing. You know, you're paying for the game ninety pounds, yeah. If you're getting the ultimate edition, whatever, then if it's got some built-in, uh, how is name? If it's got some built-in uh, multiplier, then you have to pay extra for PlayStation uh, Plus to actually use it. Why? Why the hell you have to pay another company monthly fee to use the internet? So I'm paying for my internet at home. And I can't use it on a PlayStation because well, because they decide to charge you more to access the ah, this is this is scam, honestly. I hate this freaking stuff. It's disgusting. And then another thing, like PlayStation like uh, sorry, like Diablo 4. The first thing which you're putting when you're putting on oh buy PlayStation uh, plus uh, for this days and a month. So you can play online. I don't want to. I don't have this. I don't want to have this information. This is my choice. My choice. This is my choice to not have PlayStation Plus. I shouldn't be forced to something like that. And then you got this season pass. Oh, another thing. What the hell is this? You're putting the game on, and then you, when you got glitch with the internet, you can't play the game because uh, it's on servers. So why? Why are them loading so many gigabytes on my? PlayStation, why do I pay for this game? Maybe I should pay like monthly fee one pound for renting the game. You don't want to play, not pay. You don't have access, you not play. If physically I'm purchasing that something, it's mine, and I shouldn't be, you know, forced to spend any more money or affect any other way. Anyway. That's oh, sorry. I hate these people, you know? Scamming us. We want money, 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 money. You can't have good experience if you will not pay. Like, what the hell? How much money then maybe just do it like okay, my game is costing 150 pounds and you don't have to do anything else and you can play as much you want and when you whenever you want. I want to see how many people then will be buying the games. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.
anyway yeah um so the new game for which uh, i'm waiting at the moment uh, it's uh space marine 2 which uh, actually i can't wait for it it's crazy but it is like this honestly um i think that's the one of the games for a long time which i'm waiting for um unfortunately we probably will be using the multiplier on it as well because you have to pay extra anyway that's not the point it's so going back to the subject uh, painting the minis so yeah well, what's giving you painting the minis it's, uh, what's the taking out from that I got like I said it's coming me down I love this because it's giving you this feeling of accomplishment you know you're getting a piece of plastic and turning this in a much appreciated thing um yeah still learning lots of stuff with the minis like um how to you know work with the light which uh, which parts to highlight better and uh, which one hide trying to do my best to get some new brushes because this one's they're getting quite used those days I'm very close to finishing the Tyranids part in a Leviathan box and the next ones are the Space Marines which I'll be doing in my Dark Angel scheme so yeah very 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 excited about that hopefully that will be sooner than later so, I don't have much left from uh, Tyranids part to do I got left uh, let me let me check what I got left, I got left definitely Psychophage I got left the Screamer Killer yeah. Where is this? Yeah, Screamer Killer and neuro neuro so three major models of tyrannids to do it and I think one of best models to do it and those so it's quite exciting as well and uh, and then I will be going for the space marines anyway Tell me, guys, when, when you guys painting? Do you wanna have uh, conversations about something, or you just 
closing yourself and just be by yourself or you painting with maybe friends or something like that maybe you got some like painting club that's actually a good idea i wish to have some painting club around me and maybe i will go spend some time there Unfortunately, there is nothing like this in this area. I never know. Also, how do you guys like painting? Um, do you guys like sit down and paint whole model from uh, from start till end, or are you painting in uh, sections like today I will do this, tomorrow I will do that, or maybe you doing this just because uh, it's not enough time because it's as well time consuming? Um, let me know in the comments as well. Let's build a community. Let's let's do together, you know. Spend time together. Give me some subjects to talk about it. What do you think about this and that? Anyway, what, what do you guys think about this new Warhammer 10 edition? I know it's already a few months out. Uh, did you play? Did it change? What do you think about this new website of uh, GW? Do you like it, the change, or you prefer the old way? I spoke with them today about pre-orders. <laughs> I asked ask the question. Um, oh, guys, do you know anything about my pre-order, blah, blah, blah. They will start checking, and then I asked her like this, the customer service person representative who is having conversation with me. I was like, why companies like, you know, Hobby Workshop or anything like that, they can send your pre-order straight away when it's coming out. But you guys, you always problem with that. And she was like, oh, yeah, because we're changing the web stuff, this and that. I was like, you know, wait, it's not, it's not now. Then when you're having problem with that, it's all the time. Because when I'm pre-ordering something from Hobby Workshop, because it's cheaper <laughs> as well, which is funny. Um, they getting to my home on the, you know, release date. Like for example, uh, Leviathan box. I know people who was ordering from a game workshop, which was including me. I got a week after the release date, and I know people. And, uh, <clears throat> and my friend did order from a hobby workshop website. Okay, so it's a third party store. And literally, his was delivered on the release day. And I was like, what the hell, you know? He was painting already, putting them together. You know, he was doing his stuff, enjoying. And mine came 10 days later and I was like, why? Why are you doing this? I was like, how is that 
even possible, you know? Teach party shop had already everything out to the customers when Game Workshop was still trying, you know, sort out postage labels. It's ridiculous. Did you have the same experience, guys? If so, leave me the comments. One day, one day I was asking them, like, you know, guys, the supporting any like uh, YouTube channel is growing, blah, blah, blah. I think that set me a little bit backwards on my YouTube channel because I was having high hopes after, you know, starting this uh, channel and I was like, you know, order it uh, Warhammer 40k. Leviathan box I managed to pre-order and this and that and I was like you know let me speak with them first email no answer second email no answer so I called them and I was like guys at least send me back information yes or no you know you need this or that and she said oh no no we don't we don't have an email <laughs> I was like how you can don't have an email <laughs> so apparently my emails they didn't arrive so i was like maybe i will complain to the royal mail <laughs> joke yeah <laughs> so i don't know post office don't, nothing to do with uh, emails however it's funny thing because uh, all my emails to everyone around when I was sending in uh, that period, everything arrived everywhere like supposed to, but just not to Games Workshop, apparently. Anyway, going forward, so after my phone call, they asked me to send the email again. I send it. They call me back straight away. They said, yes, we got the email. Someone will be with you shortly. Okay. Two days later, I got the email from them stating, oh, sorry, we will not help you because your channel is too small. And I was like, so they sending stuff to many different people yeah and uh, I didn't want tons of miniatures from them I wanted just small support like um, send me some poster maybe this you know give me some uh, directions uh, uh, maybe we can cooperate later on we'll, we'll, what I can do and they were so dismissive, you know, if you're too small, go away. So like, like always, small person punched in the face. Anyway, that's the days gone, yeah? So, after that, I think, I think, push back with the miniatures painting then I had a holiday this and that uh, I went with the girls and family to the Paris um, I was thinking maybe like maybe I should change my channel for like different kind of channel you know do this and do the everything so I don't know if that worked out as well because uh, again no engagement from the viewers, you know the viewers they there. I got some uh, watching hours and this and that, but anyway, they look awesome. They look actually terrifying, you know, these guys. If you see them in a jungle or anywhere, <laughs> it's like what? It's like killing machines. Honestly. 
forget joy or sorrow. Cool. We're spending some time together. I hope you enjoyed this small conversation with painting. If if you really like, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, help me grow. Let's grow together. Um, let's paint together. Let's play together. Stay tuned and see you soon. Maybe even tomorrow. Bye.